Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about distinct permutations of a string. So this is very very important to understand and our explanation is completely based on the assumption that you already have some basic understanding of the coding. If you are not good at basic coding level, please watch our website learningmonkey.in, take the placement training for service based companies full course, then come to the competitive coding. So coming to today's example, so we are going to provide you the graphical understanding of the coding part. With that graphical understanding, it will help you understand the coding better, not only in this example, that helps you a lot in other examples also. So you have to focus much on in this, uh, egg, in this uh, video. So let's take the example given a string, yes, display distinct permutations of the string in lexicographically sorted order. So they are going to provide you a string. Yes, we have to display distinct permutations of the string in lexicographically sorted order means ascending order. So the input is ABC. If you if ABC is there, output should be ABC, ACB, BAC, BCA, CAB, CBA. This is what you have to display. So now coming to that. Let's understand what are the different permutations. Let's go into the permutations and combinations. Let's take the string A, B, C, D. So in the first position, in the first position, you can place A or you can place B, you can place C or you can place D. So the first position, how many possibilities are there? You can place n number of possibilities here n is equal to 4 so 4 number 4 possibilities are there in the first position if you place a here what is the second position how many possibilities are there in the second position you can place b or you can place c or you can place d three possibilities are there if you place b here what are the possibilities in the third position two possibilities similarly in the next position one possibility this is what the permutations means so the Four possibilities in the first position, three possibilities, two possibilities and single possibility. Four multiplied by three multiplied by two multiplied by one that is equal to four factorial. How many different permutations are available? Four factorial, n factorial permutations are available. This is the basic concept from uh, permutations and combinations. Uh, you have to understand in the first position, how many possibilities? Four possibilities. In the second position, how many possibilities? three possibilities in the third position two possibilities like that uh, this the same concept we are going to implement in the using recursion concept uh, now coming to the recursion let's dive into the basics of recursion when we discuss in our data structures merge sort uh, the first function this, so this is the graphical intuition which we provided how the recursive functions are executed when we discussed about the recursive tree method in merge sort in data structures. So the first function we are going to call using array. So we are sending input as array and low value and high value. This function is going to call two other functions. It is going to divide based on the mid value and mid value. So one partition, other partition. So this function is going to call another two functions. This is how recursive functions are executed. So this recursive tree method, if you have this intuition, understanding today's example is very, very easy. For refreshing the concept, we explain this. Now coming to our actual example, the first function we are going to call, we are going to call this function by taking the input. The function is we are sending input as a string as input a b c d and we are taking index value based on the index value we are going to provide all the permutations all the combination all the permutations different possibilities how we do that see this is our first function when when we call this first function we are sending input as a b c d and index is equal to zero this function this function is going to call four different functions if you want to call the same function four times, what you need? You need a loop. So if for the loop, for i is equal to zero, this function is called. For i is equal to one, this function is called. i is equal to two, this function is called. i is equal to three, this function is called. So this function is going to call four different functions. So understand it. 
this function what's the input you are taking a b c d this function what is the input b a c d this function c b a d this function d b c a what's the difference here the first position a here the sec first position b here the first position c here the first position d this is what we discussed above what are the different possibilities in the first position you can place a b c d that is what we have done here how we are calling that how we are calling that based on the index value what is the index position showing zero at the position means the first position in the string based on the i value we are swapping the characters and getting different possibilities see here a b c d b is swapped with a b a c d this is how we got the next possibility a b c d so i is pointing to second position second position means c c and a are swapped index is pointing to a and i is pointing to c c and a are swapped c b a d this is how the next possibility when i is equal to 3 we are showing d and a are swapped we are getting the next possibility this is how we are taking the first index possibility how many possibilities n possibilities here n is 4 that's why here we got four functions if n is equal to 10 10 different functions it is going to call your loop is going to execute for 10 times okay the first position is fixed here now you have to check for the different possibilities in the second position 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 so this function this function is going to call three different functions see this level this function at this level this function is going to call four different functions at this level all these functions are going to call three different functions why three different functions because uh, the first position is fixed no don't change that position take the remaining positions how we take that remaining positions uh, that's why when you call this function index is going to be one now we will take first position second position and third position forget about zero at the position it is fixed zero at position is fixed a now you can change b c d here so this function i is equal to one is going to call the string a b c d this is going to call the string c and b are swapped a c b d this is the function which is going to d and b are swapped so d and b are swapped so these are the three different possibilities for this function similarly this function is going to call for three different functions this function is going to call three different functions this function is going to call three different functions now similarly at this level it is going to call two different functions forget about the first and second positions third fourth positions similarly next this is how we are taking all the possibilities this is how the function calling recursive functions are executed based on index and ith value we are swapping the elements and calling different possibilities if you have this graphical intuition writing coding is very very easy and one more important point you have to understand our question is we have to display distinct permutations distinct permutations means with example we are going to understand b c a a here similar elements same elements are there so you there is a possibility to get the same permutation values so how to avoid that how to avoid that no no need to display it two times we have to display only one times that is what distinct permutations means let's take this example bcaa first time you are going to call bcaa cbaa the same example with a different example uh, with a different uh, string input uh, acba acab the same the same the same string acab is going to get a uh, one more time where you are going to get acba abca acba expanded acba acab see here also we got acab here also we got acab so you need to stop it you have to display only one time you can stop this function to further calling of the next functions 
how you how you stop it uh, a c a b what's the logic behind this uh, see whenever see b c a a if you want to swap a with b a is going to be swapped with b you have to check that uh, from b c a from here to here you should not contain the element a if it contains the element a so no no don't swap and stop it there this is what the logic is uh, see if you want to swap a to b -th position check all the elements from b to one element before a if you, if in between these elements if it contains a don't uh, don't do it uh, means don't call the function again stop it here you have to stop the function here and display the string that's it that's it that is how sh should not contain a this part this part this orange part this is the logic to identify the distinct permutations distinct permutations now take a look at the coding part so based on this intuition you try to solve it on your own so we are going to provide you the code anyhow the code is available in our website learningmonkey.in you can copy the code and paste it and you can execute the code but uh, our suggestion is to try to do it on your own coming to the logical part see so this is the code so in this function def find permutations of function we are going to use loop for i in range of index comma n you are you are going to call the same function repeatedly if index is equal to 0 n times if index is equal to 1 n minus 1 times index is equal to 2 n minus three times that is how it is we are going to call the functions so before go calling the function check the possibility check the possibility whether you need to swap this element or not character or not so you you try to solve it on your own Hope you understand this example. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.